To do this with dignity and honour is absolutely at the heart of what we've always been about here. It's not always been portrayed in that way, particularly by those who aren't always happy that he's going to be buried here in Leicester. But if we just think that at the heart of all of these events is human remains in a coffin, that actually then sets in train the tone for everything that we will do. Um, this is not a great festival or jamboree, as I've sometimes been accused of it being. It's a, it's a, it's a reinterment in different stages. The first reception, very solemn. Then those days of dignified repose. Then the reinterment, a sense of, um, you know, a goodbye, a lasting goodbye. Uh, as you would get in many other services of burial. And then when the final reveal happens, the sense of, at last, he's at peace, and he's had the honour and dignity afforded to him that was not the case in 1485. And therefore that's something to be thankful for, to rejoice, and to be glad that this precious child of God, who's also an anointed king, is now at rest at last.